What's up, Alita Army? Doc Ito here with an Alita update. The doctor is in. Today, we are talking about Alita Army and the amount of support this movie is getting, especially online. Some people think we are bots. We are not bots. We are real, and we do not stand by in the presence of evil. And we'll take a quick look at the box office numbers. But first, remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss any of Doc Ito's free repairs. Remember to sign the petition if you haven't, we are over 15,000 votes. And remember to support the movie on IMDb, where we are still at 7.5. And even though the th movie is out of theaters, we are still about 125th in popularity. This actually has gone up. I've been tracking the numbers. I think we were at like 137, so keep up the support for the movie, and remember to vote for 10, 20, 30 movies, not just one. So your vote counts. And of course, remember you have to sign in to do this. Also, writing a review might count even more, so feel free to do that. Action Jackson on Twitter asked, if you were offered $1 million to watch one movie repeatedly for 24 hours straight, what movie would you choose? And Alita Army rose up and said the truth. The one movie that deserves to be watched for 24 hours straight, Alita Battle Angel. With person after person supporting our Battle Angel. Alita, definitely. And scrolling through this, we do have some other movies too, but there's a fair amount of Alita support all the way throughout. Another Twitter user noticed this and said that she was weirded out by how many replies to this tweet are bots for that Alita Battle Angel movie. And of course, Alita Army had something to say about this. We're cyborgs, not bots, which is awesome. Cyborgs are not robots. Cyborgs have brains just like Alita. We are not robots. We are cyborgs. And pretty much everyone stood up and said, we're not bots, we're just honestly supporting this movie. And this is who we are. And I don't mean any disrespect to the initial person, and she didn't say anything bad about the movie, she just thought it was strange that so many people are supporting Alita. And this might be what other people think too, that somehow we're a computer program or a hive mind or something weird. But no, we just love this movie. And over and over again, tons of people supporting Alita and showing that we are fighting for her and we love this movie it's so strange it's like it's the only movie that has multiple replies on this tweet where did all these bots come from again we're not bots and yes we are so passionate we are much more passionate than any other fan bases and so on and so on all the replies proving that we are real we are not fake and i really like this check her profile dog lover so we like her and that's true we do like her alita army is not here to put anyone down we are here to support Alita. Now, while the term Alita Army indicates fighting or violence or anything like that, we are obviously nonviolent, and we don't have to be confrontational either. As far as I can tell, and this is what I remember too, that a leader, or Mr. Jinx Toast, was the first one to coin this phrase with this tweet on March 18th, the Alita Army out in full force. Alita Army, do your thing. I think we can call ourselves the Alita Army. Alita Army, spread it around. I'm pretty sure this was the first three tweets referring to this phrase. And now, of course, it's all over and we're all calling ourselves this. But we don't have to fight against anything else. We can fight for Alita. We are not a toxic fan base. We don't have to be against this movie or that movie or this person or that person. We just have to support Alita. Now, at the same time, we are going to defend her from dishonest attacks. We are going to point out inconsistencies and reviews and media coverage that is not fair. We are going to fight for Alita, but we don't have to fight against anything else. And yes, we are real. We are not bots. I got a request from FKN to also mention Alita Army striking again on Yukito Kishiro's website. In the forum section, um, you can comment on various things and going through the old comments there's thousands of them but once the movie came out everyone started supporting the movie pacific rim got a sequel alita with similar amounts will it also get a sequel well we definitely hope so there's no news about the blu-ray congratulations alita is so good yukito sensei your work and manga is so many inspiration thank you alita is a lot of fun i watched it 12 times i want to tell you i love you so on and so forth and so forth i mean pages and pages of comments of support for the movie and everything else and I'll put a link for Yukito's website below. From a box office standpoint, we're at 404.78. The movie's been making about two to three thousand dollars every day this week, which isn't great, but it's only in 60 theaters or so, so really not much there to be made. Looking at a bunch of different zip codes, I don't see any showings for Alita this weekend. I found one theater here or a couple in the Portland area, but it does seem like it's gonna be out of most theaters, and I've got a feeling that this week is probably the last one 
and it's not going to make a lot of money going forward. So unless we get a correction to these four numbers, which I thought were a little low last week, it's probably not going to get much more than this 404.78. Um, and that's okay, because we are at 405 million, and that's perfect as it's much more than what they thought it would get. I've been following the endgame numbers and it's actually making about the same as Infinity War right now. It's been falling fast and it's possible if it falls below Infinity War, especially overseas, that it might not pass Avatar, which would be great. We want James Cameron's project to still be number one. Detective Pikachu is doing pretty well too this weekend. It made six million or so on Thursday night. And I do think success of this movie will help the overall odds of an Alita sequel because the more video game, anime, and manga movies that come out and do well, the more likely studios are going to be taking a shot at making more movies like this, especially once Endgame is out and the next phase of the Marvel Universe comes through. I think people are going to be much less excited to see superhero movies going forward, just my opinion, after all of the Avengers movies are done. And then they're going to look for other IPs to get people at the box office, including anime, manga, and yes, Alita should be a huge part of this. Pikachu made about 15 million on Friday. If you take out the Thursday night previews with Endgame at 16 million, that means that it's very possible it's going to beat Endgame this weekend. They're predicting 55 to 60 million, which would be good. And if it does dethrone Endgame, that would be fantastic. And then, of course, John Wick coming out next week is probably going to really put a big damper on Endgame's numbers. So we're hoping Avatar keeps up number one. But Alita Army. Keep up the fight. Keep up the good work. Remember to support the movie on IMDb. Vote for multiple movies. Remember all of the other links below, and we will continue to fight. Once we get news on the Blu-ray, we will let you know. Continue to support Alita. Do it in a nice, friendly, positive way. We don't need to be negative. We are not a toxic fan base. Y'all have a great day. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. Doc out.